<coughs> Good evening. Fucking hell, I'll tell you what, there's a cunt being me. I'll tell you what, there's a right cunt being me. Fucking is there's a cunt. I've literally just finished and I haven't finished. This is beyond a fucking joke. Um, I mean, it's nice, but I've given all the fucking picture rails another coat and they still look like they need another one. This is like one of those never ending jobs. I'm being perfectionistic with it. I know, but they're starting to look almost nice, and it's every time they paint, you're like, yeah, that looks better. It starts drying out, and they look sketch. And, oh my god, I took the bed out of here today. I only actually lost to dithering. I only took like 20 minutes to do my makeup this morning. I lost about 40 minutes to you, didn't I? He was a prick this morning. He'd been out, he'd been out, and he'd been fed. And he came back in, and he was gesturing to his toilet. Like he'd just been outside. But he kept meowing, and he was quite distressed. And I couldn't find the fucking spoon. Got to clean his shit out of it. And he kept following me around, and I caused bedlam in the room. I needed to move the wardrobe, so everything has to come out of the wardrobe. All the shit, there's a big rack in there. Everything comes there. And oh my god, all the shit I have found. And it's just that constant same old fucking thing. Of, I've got a place for that, but it's in a fucking drawer over there and it's behind something. It's got a place for that and I've got a place for that and a place for that. And it's all stuff that I'm keeping. It shouldn't be here. Everything is about nine feet from where it should be, but in the wrong place. And that's the sort of thing that makes people crack up. It's not funny when you're going through it and it's, it's endless. It gets fucking tedious. It gets sickeningly fucking tedious. And you're walking around with that. And you just get the piss taken out of you. You're a fucking nightmare, isn't you? It's not funny, but that's what people want to do, is laugh at it. <laughs> if you talk about it, it's a whole come on. There's always that, what do you mean, all oh, come on? I'm trying to do something incredibly fucking simple. I know how to do it. And just like at little stages, like a little strip along there, and it's like it was glossed in like nine minutes. Or something. But just a day has just disappeared, and I have not been sitting around. And the mess has just got bigger and bigger and bigger and more disorganised and oh my fuck. I just hated today. And I lost my key worker. Boom, just like that. Poof. And she was gone. Because my new address is Paul. I didn't even fucking think about it. I didn't even fucking think about it. It's like it's fucking somewhere in between Wallace Down and Branksome. It's fucking local as far as I'm concerned. It's like some people around here have been saying, oh, I'm away. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I used to live in Winchester. I was all the other way inside the town. What, a ten minute walk? It's not a big fucking place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, fucking Winchester. But, what was I fucking on about? Before I talked about Winchester. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's kind of, yeah, it sort of looks alright. It looks alright, and it's. What I haven't done is what I did when I moved from the last place and ended up with just all this random shit just going into different bags and making it worse. And that's a lot of what I've been finding and stuff. And I'm like, God, there's so much shit. And I, I was fighting tears for about two hours and I didn't even know why. I wasn't even thinking about anything. I was watching myself paint. And there's just that feeling of wanting to fucking cry. Um, oh, that was it, my key worker. That was what I was on about. Yeah, it was like 10 minutes from the end of the chat. And she just went, is that Paul? And I said, it is Paul. And she went, what's the postcode? Because I know there's a lot of crossover. Because there is, particularly around that, that area. <coughs> um, and she's like, oh, no, we don't cover it. So I can't support you anymore, sorry. And Paul haven't got anything like what we've got. Oh. Yeah, go on then, all right. Fine. Fine. You know... So now I've got I've got to go and face the government on my own, just so they can accuse me of lying again. And I, I swear it's fucking brainwashing. They're doing this to people like me, assessing them, telling them they've been assessed by experts, and then saying there's nothing wrong with them. It's making feel like shit. It's making feel like fucking shit. There's no other fucking there's no other fucking explanation for it. People are being paid. I'm gonna go to a room with about four or five people on fucking hefty salaries to tell me no. It's a fucking point. 
the fucking point. You don't have any problems. When I know that, you know, that's what she basically said to me. She said, you, the, what, what I got told at the hospital, that I'll get a, a key worker after doing a DBT. She said, no, that's wrong. I don't know why she told you that. And she knows the woman who it is. I said, well, it was such and such that told me. And she seems very fucking competent. No, no, I don't know why she told you that. You won't get, you won't get a key worker. It's just total doom and fucking gloom. And she's like, she, I've got her number anyway. And she's like, I do a phone in on a Wednesday, so you can just keep phoning me. But I can't keep you as a client, but you can keep phoning me on a Wednesday in the afternoon. Um, and I can still just, I'm, I'm just working. <laughs> um, and you're allowed to, you're allowed to phone that number on the like the drop in call or whatever. Um, but yeah, all the support's gone because of the. The dear old fucking virus that's the excuse for anyone to do anything and be late for anything and not just not do anything, not deliver things that they've, you've, they've paid, you've paid for. I've got loads of shit outstanding. I just thought there's loads of stuff that should have come by now. About four or five different fucking deliveries. And then I hate myself for my fucking compulsive spending. And I don't even enjoy the things when they get here. And I look at myself and think you're a fucking waster. And I'm trying to convince myself that I'm not a waster. But I know that in a lot of ways I fucking am. It's fucking bedlam in here. It's fucking bedlam in here. It's fucking bedlam in here. Just, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I want anymore. This isn't fun anymore. Nothing, nothing's fun anymore. Dancing on the beach was lovely, but what, what did it achieve? Got a lot of people to know me, so they can recognise and go, oh, I saw you the other day dancing. You don't care, do you? You're loving it. You're killing it. No, I'm not. I'm fucking half-tortured, fucking mentally to death. <laughs> That's the only way I can cope with the fucking enormous amounts of anxiety that come from just being around people. And the closer they get, the more it frightens me. The more it wears me out, the more I can't understand them, the more I leave fucking conversations unsaid. I would even stop replying to some things on Facebook. I just, I just don't get what they mean. What, what's that? Bit? I don't get it. I'm sick of saying sorry. I don't understand. That's what I mean by schizotypal. When you just can't interpret people's meaning, just read it and think, what? That hasn't got anything to do with anything. I want about that. What? what the... And it frazzles my fucking brain. It frazzles my fucking brain. So I just don't reply. I don't know what to say. Well, they've asked me something that just involves way too much of an answer. <laughs> But then I hate being on my fucking own. I know. I'm a fucking nightmare. You're a nightmare. He was a nightmare. I couldn't find his spoon. That's why I finished telling that fucking story because that was riveting, wasn't it? I couldn't find the spoon to clean his shit up with. And I spent ages looking everywhere with him following me and then I found it. And I cleaned it out. And he kept meowing. So I spent some time chilling with him. And then he fucked off out. <laughs> he looked in his toilet and he fucked off out. I fucking, I wiped it all in front of him. I was like, here are your fucking lordship. To be honest, it wasn't even that dirty. I've seen you use it when it's dirty, yeah? <laughs> but fine, you want a clean place to have a shit in, that's fine, that's okay. <laughs> and then he fucked off out and I was like, you little prick. You just cost me literally 45 minutes. That didn't need to fucking happen. I could have been doing a lot more... And all I did was create more mess by looking for the fucking thing, by throwing stuff about. And it's like, oh my God. And it's like, yeah, I got the bed out of here, but there was still like a cupboard and the cupboard doesn't come out with the speaker next to it. I have to take the speaker out and then that's in the middle of where the, where the cupboard wanted to be. And then there's his fucking litter tray and there's about four or five sports bags all on the floor. And it was a game of fucking bedroom Tetris with all my shit. I literally didn't even start painting until about nearly two. It was like the call was like 9.30 to 10.30, but it was more like quarter to 11. And then I was literally trying to fucking get going. And it just looked like, yeah, that would just take 20 minutes. But each bit of painting probably didn't actually take that long. I got all of the skirting boards glossed and the door glossed in about the last hour and a quarter, I think. And got another coat on the fucking... Well, the actual painting itself didn't take that long at all. And it's washing everything down in between and moving all the shit around. And just, oh my fucking God, it's been disheartening. I haven't liked myself. I haven't liked any of the things around me. Everything's reminded me of stuff. 
My head is in fucking bits. I can't see a fucking way out, way out of anything. This was one thing I was going to say, actually. That, like, just because of the mismatch that none of you will even acknowledge. That's why I can't see any fucking hope. That's why I can't see any fucking hope. Of a lot of things. I can't see a lot of fucking hope of a lot of things. I just can't see it. And that's, you know, instantly, oh, well, well, you almost don't deserve to get it then because you're daring to think negatively. And then, well, if you think negatively, you've got to get negative. That's what you do to do, think positive. Oh, fuck off. Just fuck off. You fucking idiots. Stop ramming that shit down people's throat. People try this shit over and over and over and over. and get fucking nowhere with it, okay? And you're still sitting there insisting it works and how amazing your life is. Well, fucking good for you. Go and enjoy it, please. And stop pissing everyone else off. I don't know. I'm fucking, I've had a banging fucking headache. Had a banging bad, banging bag, bag. The rear of me hurted. Uh, uh, I'm almost shutting down while I speak. My brain's just doing that thing where it's just fucking shutting down. I'm like fucking hell, man. I was. Quite rambunctious a little while ago. Just fucking singing and shit. It's like, again, it's weird. I'm singing jolly, but then I'm on the cusp of a fucking mood and everything's in my mouth kicking shit. And fucking hell. It's just, I feel fucking incapable. I feel fucking incapable and fucking pointless. That's what I feel like. ineffectual and blah blah I'm lovely whatever yeah to look at or whatever laugh at think is lovely <laughs> I'm good I'm good at that it doesn't make a difference though that's someone else's opinion and that's in their head it's not that's not what I'm feeling not what I'm feeling I don't feel lovely I feel frustrated I feel disgusting I feel pointless I feel annoying. I feel bored. But I've got a cat. And my beard. He's got his paws. He's always got his paws. But <coughs> I don't really know what sort of fucking note to end this on. It's just been a fucking horrible day. Get them, and now I'm key workerless. Well, at least I look like a bent cunt. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What do you What do you do? What do you do other than keep just keep existing in a load of shit that everyone keeps telling you will get better one day? I fucking hope so, mate. I fucking hope so. Because I fucking try. I've literally been saying all the positive thoughts each morning. Start each day with a positive thought. For a couple of weeks now. That's like... All anyone will want to do is explain why the law of attraction is not working. There's no acknowledgement of the fact that every fucking day is a fucking grind of shit. I can't even fucking talk to anyone about it. Really. I've got you. I've got I've got my magic rectangle. Because if I talk to anyone about this, they just retune me and tell me it's oh it's not happening, basically. Not happening. Just pretend it's not happening. Think about it differently. Stop thinking about yourself. Other people go through it. You're not the only one with problems. Get your head out of your own ass. You're a lot more capable than you think you are. Stop putting yourself down. You'll be fine. You got this. You're killing it. It's killing me. It's killing me. With laughter. I'm hilarious. Um, 1444, right on the queue. That actually, like, when I looked at that, that actually lasted nine seconds. <laughs> um, it's common for people with ADHD to misjudge 
lengths of time. <laughs> it was nine fucking seconds. Um, all right, dude. I've just been poured. I've just been poured. He poured his heart out to me. I'm going to stroke him. There we go. I've basically just taken a shit. I've basically just taken a fucking shit. So that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Onward and fucking up, Jose!